Exciting video today. So what we are going to do is put some panniers on the back of the Rebel. Um, we're gonna make these panniers ourselves. Way back in a previous video, I talked about putting some ammo boxes on the back. I think ammo boxes, they've just got a tough look. Now with the Rebel, it does have some nice space between the tail lights and the shocks here. I plan on doing this really just simply. So I'm just gonna essentially drill two holes into the panniers and bolt them through here. This is really tough. Um, I was surprised because when I looked at it, I didn't think it would be this strong. So with these panniers, I paid $30 Australian dollars for both of these. They were on clearance. You get a medium and a small, so there's a small one inside. What they're going to look like is hopefully something a bit like that. I'm not completely sure on the angle yet, um, but they should work pretty well. What I'm hoping to do is just get some big washers, put some washers on the insides and just bolt them straight through here. I'm going to put a lock system on here. I'm gonna be carrying lots of GoPro equipment and things in them. These are the smaller ones. I was contemplating on just putting a small one here, but this will be the bigger one. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a template of the panniers so it's easier to mark the holes. So I'm holding the template and I'm getting my friends to mark where the bolts go. Tapping it with the hammer will make the dents in the template and that's where the bolts will go. Take out the bolts with an Allen key then use the bolts to find the right size drill bit. I like to do a test on a piece of scrap metal first. Yep, that looks good. <laughs> so now I'm drilling a pilot hole in the template. I'm just gonna double check the pannier is going to sit where I want it to. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'll drill pilot holes before drilling the bigger holes. Hopefully you don't struggle as much as me. Then put the pannier on the bike. It's a little bit wobbly here, so what I'm actually going to do is put in a metal plate to make it a bit stronger. So while my friend is making that, I'm just going to put the panniers back to back and I'll mark the holes so that both the panniers are in the same spot on the bike. So now I'm just going to drill the holes in the second pannier. It's really hard to actually drill through, so we're just gonna use some cutting oil and my friend's strength, which is more than mine. <laughs> so here we have clamped the plate to the inside of the pannier to drill some holes, so then we can rivet them together. I'm gonna also silicone it as well. And I've just got my initials here, just so you guys don't forget to subscribe to Andy Moto. I've got one, two, three, four rivets, and then I've got two on the bottom. So putting it back on using the original bolts, it feels much more solid. And now I'm just gonna do the other side, which has the stainless steel plate as well. So both panniers should be exactly the same. And I'm just gonna do them up nice and tight. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks good. Now I also wanna be able to lock these panniers up if I do some camping trips and things like that. So I'm gonna put stainless steel saddles on here, which I got off eBay, and I'm just gonna mark, drill, and then I'll rivet these in. So the panniers, so I've done at least a thousand kilometers with the panniers on and they have been great. They've definitely been like a massive improvement. 
can possibly hear them rattling about a little bit. If you... I'll just wait till they get around this corner. Yeah, so if you want to make them a bit more stable, then I will put it like a rod in between and stabilize them. So although I'm doing these videos, obviously my main thing is, you know, safety. If you have like thicker ammo cases that you want to use, you might not necessarily need that steel plate that I put in there. I just put it in there to make it a bit stronger. The other thing that you could do is put some longer bolts in rather than use the original bolts. Um, yeah, the only other thing with the panniers is I was thinking about putting a bit of foam, line them, and I was thinking maybe I might paint them and just put some decoration on them. I like painting, so I think that could be really cool. 